Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen and achievers to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, self-quarantine, of course. I am one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across me as always, Mr. Alec. How you doing? We're across virtually, of course, still. Yes. Um, I don't want his diseases. And we My diseases? That, uh, How about yeah, your yeah. diseases? You're filthy. Oh wow! The audience knows this. I know this. Wow! You get around. You know you don't have seven I... dogs and you don't contract something. No, no. First off, it's four <laughs> dogs, two cats. You have to get it straight. <laughs> get it straight. Three parakeets and a weasel. All right. God no! I've had birds. I've had two birds before, and it was I've not fun. Had, I've never had a bird. I've had friends that had birds and siblings mm. that had birds. It seemed it, it seemed cool at first because you get to summon them, kind of like a like. Like those people with falcons. You ever mm-hmm. seen the like uh, animal planets where like they put a put an arm out and a falcon just jumps on it? Kind of do that mm. with your finger. See, that yeah, seems so yeah, cool. Yeah. But then they like scream. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they just scream and sing all the time. That, that seems annoying. Yeah, no, it 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 is very annoying because I had two and I I named one uh, Peter and the other one Wendy. But right. they're like two little yellow birds, man. They were like, I like feeding them and stuff, but damn, they were so like annoying. Annoying as in loud? Y- yeah, like- yeah, yeah. As annoying as in loud to where like, because like there'll be times where you don't want them to uh, to be loud, but they do yeah, it anyway. They're birds because yeah, they, they, they exactly. just want to scream at things, right? Yep. It, it, it's you still, it, and this was a thing that my siblings did. You still put the the blanket over their cage right and, yes and that, like yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's so weird mm-hmm. that's like if i went over to you <laughs> Alex, it's like if i came to you put a blanket over in your head you're like all right good night <laughs> it's so strange it's just i don't know what i'm thinking about but it just i'm just picturing a blanket on your head and you're sleeping <laughs> you're, you're standing you, you pull it back up and i'm just uh, i was just i just start falling i just wake up i'm like huh what uh, uh huh what is something happening <laughs> I remember one specific morning. Oh god! Uh, at my siblings, it was my little sister's house, and I get I, I woke up. It was it was the morning time, so I and I come outside. If this thing heard a gnat fart, it was awake, <laughs> and I think I made the slightest noise. I think I kicked like something, mm-hmm. and it just, just started squawking. It was it was like an alarm. It's terrifying. Mm. The, the things are terrifying. Yeah, it definitely is. Welcome back to your bird podcast where we talk about birds every week <laughs> it's funny because uh, i was just watching uh crikey the uh, irwin show oh yeah yeah Can yeah they replay those yeah i'm watching the first season because i think the second season's out and um oh, I'm is just this watching... a new show yeah yeah yeah, yeah. not the them? not that's the steve irwin one but like uh-huh. this is a new show with their family so it's the, uh-huh. the daughter the son and then the wife uh, t- uh, you know they they uh, they're in charge of the Australia Zoo, and they just it's like a day by day thing of the Australia Zoo. Is this like a reality show? In a um, in a way, yes. Uh, but uh, they talk about um, you know they go they pretty much go in the life of Australia Zoo and like what they do every once in a while. That like sounds awesome. Yeah, no, it's fun because uh, literally we were just w- watching an episode where they were showing these dingoes and one of them is like shy. So then it finally became it became more friendly. So they were telling how, how, what they are, like why they're shy and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It sounds cool. Are Not there yet. demons? You know what? how Australia has demons? Like, is there any like weird spiders in it? Uh, I mean, there's a, a bunch of weird animals and I'm like, uh, what is that? Mm-hmm. It reminds mm-hmm. me of uh, oh, I don't remember what they're called right now, but these really strange looking kind of bear things. Terrifying. Terrifying. The- they're almost like koalas. I forget, but they look more s- scary. <laughs> well, there's one that I just watched as the episode, and it's uh, called a uh, damn. I for- uh, it's like a it has a weird name with a B, but it they literally they're known as bear cats, and they're black whoa, and kind of grayish. Whoa. <laughs> and uh they're black and gray and they look like a marsupial but they're not but they're um god what was it? it's a a a, be, a bin to wrong whoa yeah it's a bin to wrong and That's you can scary google it. it sounds like it's like been wrong and yeah. like you're, you're wrong for messing with it or something mm-hmm. that sounds terrifying i don't yeah. i don't i don't understand how humans exist in australia i just don't get it oh no i don't know but like dude that's I, that zoo is awesome i want to go there one day oh of course of course australia on the bucket list for sure. 
Yeah, for sure. In New York, need to go to Australia. Alex, yep. that's right. We do a gaming podcast. That's right. We are the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. You can check us out every Friday on YouTube and the podcast service of your choice for free. And of course, if you like us, you can support us over on patreon.com slash easy achievers for only a buck. Gets you all of our exclusive, gets you all of our Patreon posts. You can talk to us directly from there as well. Um, you can hit us up with any questions for the shows and things like that. We'll bring you up. Um, if you're a freeloader, don't worry, we are too. Please, five stars everywhere. Like us on all of the platforms. Give us the watch time, the views. Share us with a friend. Check out our socials at EVM9000 at Cravey Slipskater. For this week in the news, boy, mm-hmm. there's nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, there's we one, one big thing. Really cool one that yep. we're going to talk about. Yep. Hopefully it's real. <laughs> uh, God, I hope but so. Alex, before we get into that one thing, hmm. I have a question. What is your question? What have you been playing? Animal Crossing. And I'll leave it it's at just, that. Just straight red-eyeing Animal Crossing. And, and let's say last night was the first time I was actually able to start doing the, um, the Tarantula Island thing. Mm-hmm. And I caught a bunch of them. Felt great. Yeah, it felt great. And I'm going to do that great. tonight again. And I'm, um, I told my wife, I'm, if she doesn't get a chance to do it, I'll do it for her tonight. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's money, right? Yeah. Free money. My thing is, I- um, when do I get more expansion on my inventory? Because I got the first one. So I have three rows now. When do I get a chance you to have- get the fourth or fifth row? So you have to get to where I am. Mm. So you, I am on the second inspection of the house. So you get the first house, then yeah. you expand it, mm-hmm. then you get a room, okay. then you get the second room. And when okay. you get the second room is when in the kiosk uh, for, oh, I think it's 8,000 nook, nook miles, mm-hmm. you can expand your inventory another whole slot. Okay. Because I am uh, I, I just, uh, I just uh, paid off the loan so where I can get my first room. So I'll have nice. my first room in the morning. Nice, and then you'll do do it one more time. I think the next loan will be five hundred thousand. Uh, well, this one is three sixty. That's right, three something. And then the next and one then after that, I think it's five hundred thousand. Then it's five hundred. Then it's where I'm at, where it's seven hundred and god thirty eight or something. They just like that. take all my money. Yep, and then it's a million. <laughs> it's mm. one point five, I think. After that, yeah, it gets nuts. Yeah, but it is very fun. I have also been Animal Crossing as well. Yeah. Uh, not much to say about Animal Crossing. Love it. Oh my god, I love it. Been yeah. planting. <laughs> yeah, I, I was not to expecting point... to like it as much as I would. Oh, of course not. I, I just got to the point where I can, um, what is it? Uh, Ma- uh, I think they're called yeah, Mabel, Mabel, Abel sisters. I got uh-huh. uh, it's like a clothing store. I just opened that. Yeah. Um, I'm capturing. The- I got it before today ends, and we're doing um most likely a patreon exclusive out of this uh, before today ends i'll probably have to farm for a specific fish that leaves today i might have to try and get it which is, which is a little upsetting but it's cool uh the sturgeon i think ends but i have the sturgeon it's one more string fish is what it's called mm. and it's in the it's in the the, the rivers I gotta okay because i don't have to try and get that thing yeah, yeah i can show you ways of getting them it's not too hard for yeah. the sturgeon the, the other one i don't have yet but I have finished Doom Eternal. Yeah, that is something oh. else. Yes, I finished yeah. it. I, oh my god, I loved it. It's good. Woo! It is one of the best first-person shooters I have ever played, by bar none. So good. I mm-hmm. recommend it if you guys are looking for an FPS right now. It is still full price, so beware if you're ready to drop that sixty bucks. It is worth it in my opinion. But if you need to wait for a sale, it's definitely worth forty if you can get it there too. It's a steal for forty. But my god, it's good. A little, a little short if you're looking for something longer. It's about thirteen ish hours if you just play the game. I 100 percented it, and I think it took me fifteen hours to sixteen mm-hmm. hours. That's just a rough guess. Um, but man, was that fun! I didn't leave a single level without um, 100 percenting it, specifically because it's a really cool thing where you can fast travel throughout the level. It was real fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, finishing it put me in that slump that I get sometimes where I just beat a really good game and I just like, uh, what do I play now? And I just basically yeah, didn't yeah, play yeah. games for like the next two or three days. Now I'm slowly getting back into it. I don't know if I'll play something today or not, but yeah. I might jump on maybe a little more Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is that perfect game where you can kind of pick it up, mm. and play it for like, what, an hour? And like you, you feel like you kind of accomplish stuff. And you can put it back down, do the same thing yeah. the next day, and just keep that, keep going until you're either finished or you're slowly doing stuff. 
Yeah. I'll tell oh, you, wait, Rebecca's... Um, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Rebecca hit the part where you can make rows. I'm excited for that. Rows. Yeah, like roads, roads like oh roads, roads. Yeah, that gotcha. drive on like driving roads yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it looks nice i need i need that in my life damn you yeah, gotta wait all the way till then yeah yeah it looks like you have to wait a long time i think how long do you wait for the stone bridges oh that's a good question um because i still have I the regular say, log one i want to say it's after probably mine okay you can make stone bridges um oh wait no i think where i'm at right now i can make bridges they're just expensive mm. um so I can make more than I want. I think it's like 50 grand though, or 100 grand, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little expensive, but you can do it right now. I, I can do it right now. It's just, like I said, it's expensive. Uh, gotcha. But what were you going to say? I was going to say, we actually started another game yesterday, finally. it's uh, We started oh, Darksiders Genesis. Yeah, we did. That was, uh, well, I've been talking for a while. What, what did you think of Darksiders Genesis? I'm enjoying it because I do, I've always liked the Darksiders worlds. Like I played mm -hmm. one, I never beat one. I did beat the hell out of two. Two was my favorite for some reason. I yeah, just much, de death is my favorite horseman. You're much more knowledgeable on this um, <clears throat> than I, because this is my first Dark Siders game, basically. Mm, yeah, I never really yeah, played you, them. You tried getting into two, and you and you didn't really get into it. So I was Good. like, I'll play it for you. Yep. So and so I beat that um, in what, what was that like six to eight hours? I think it was eight hours like straight, and then I yeah. did Devil May Cry for you. Yep. Yeah, you played DMC uh, we for me. We were getting it for the achievements, ladies yep. and gentlemen. That's what yeah. we did, and that was awesome. Yep. So we did each other, we did a bunch of games for each other just but from, to, yeah. from someone who knows Darksiders, what do you think? Um, I'm enjoying it. I actually do I love Strife's and War's um team, like like their um their chemistry. It's yeah. it's pretty it's pretty fun. So far I love that too. Yeah. Um because uh, War's like very straightforward and Strife is more of like a Deadpool esque yep. kind of character. Yep, exactly. I really like it. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it a lot, and I'm actually looking forward to play, keep playing it because uh, the first mission that we played uh, on the map, um, the map, okay, so the map is great but horrible at the same time. Oh my god! Because Ooh. it's great because Ooh. it shows you everything on the map. Uh, it's it's so it's top it's it's top down. So but it's, so it's like flat, but you can see all the items that you, for collectible wise that you need to to grab, and when you grab it, Which it, is great. it it checks it off. Yeah, it's great. It's great. But Love it that. doesn't tell you where you're at. It only, it only tells you where, like the area you're in, and it, then it, that starts blinking. So like, it's probably you... hard to imagine not have playing the game. So literally, picture <laughs> guys a map. Let's say I'm in a mall, right? The mall's clicked up into north, east, uh, south, and west. If I'm in the north side of the mall, that north side is now blinking when I look at the map. But it, it yep. doesn't tell me exactly what, what yeah. side of the map I'm so on. The, just, so yeah, if you look, if you side, yep. figure it out. So if you think of remember like a regular mall map, you look at it and it says you are here. It doesn't tell you that. It just yeah. starts blinking. So if there's like six stores all around you, it just blinks that whole area, and you don't know which store you're in. I want to grab whoever made this map and just be like, what? What happened? Who like, hurt like, you? Like I'm wondering. Who hurt if, you? So I'm wondering if they did that on purpose. They'd be like, okay, we'll tell you where all the collectibles are, but we won't tell you where you where maybe, you are. Maybe, but I want to shake him even harder if he says that to me, <laughs> <laughs> or she. You know, when I'm I'm like, I'll shake the woman too. I don't care. Whoever it is, <laughs> we'll and shake I, I, whoever it is. Whoever it is, people, persons. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I I, I can't imagine. I love collecting it. That's super satisfying, especially yeah. when I found out we can upgrade our things. Oh yeah, that's but that's cool. Good lord, it was that's yeah, it's almost like, inexcusable yeah. for this map. I yeah, hate so it. So I'm that I get a pushback past that, this. It, rem it reminds me of what I don't like about Dark Siders, which is dated kind of mm -hmm. combat and things. Where mm -hmm. right now it feels smooth. I love my powers. I'm war, by the way. Yeah, um, I'm playing strife. I, yeah, and I, I love my powers. I feel super strong, but that map. Oof. Yeah, that map is oof. But so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I, I, I want to get back to it so we can uh, at least play through the story. It's been out for a while. I think it was forty bucks. So I mean, it's it's. No, yeah, if yeah. You're looking for a cool co-op dungeon crawler type game, and eh, pick it up. Yep. Beware of that fucking map, though. Yep. All right, Alex. Let's get in. Let's get into the new, <laughs> new story, not news. New story. <laughs> How about that? Yep. Uh, uh, this is uh, where did this get from? This is Video Game Central, I believe. Uh, yeah, VideoGamesChronicle.com. Yes, I apologize. <laughs> Video Games Chronicle. Um, this is by Andy Robinson. Nintendo to release um, a lot of Mario games, basically, for the thirtieth, uh, thirty, thirty uh, fifth anniversary. 
Um, and this is a little snippet I just took out of the article. As part of its anniversary celebrations, Nintendo will reveal plans to re-release most of Super Mario's 35-year back catalog this year. Remastered for Nintendo Switch. As uh, the network partner Eurogame reported in a follow-up to the story, these remasters will include 1997's Super Mario 64, 2002's Super Mario Sunshine, and 2007's Super Mario Galaxy. Nintendo will also release several other Mario titles in 2020, including a new installment in the Paper Mario series and a deluxe version of the 2013's Super Mario 3D World. I don't know if you guys heard that Alex screams so loud that you can't actually pick it up on any mics. I am because he, uh, he's because <laughs> he heard Super Mario Sunshine be mentioned in an article. I am so down. Just give me, <laughs> give me it now, and I'll buy the whole pack, like all mm-hmm. of them. I want Sunshine right now. Sunshine. This so is the he, whole reason that's, I that's bought the, this. Switch. That's the one that that picks up right for you, right? Yep. Sunshine is is the one that's like I need this in my life. Yes, because Sunshine was one of my favorite Mario games, and mm-hmm. originally when I got before I got the Switch, I had the Wii and I had a GameCube, and we we were you know we were hinted to where like oh yeah you know Switch games or GameCube games would eventually would come to the Switch or like Virtual Console they were hinting at that a lot, and so I was like oh if okay Virtual Console comes I'll, I'll get rid of it. We've yet to hear anything about Virtual Console, so I'm wondering if this is uh a nod to in that place. Or like in place of that yeah yeah in place of that it actually coming out it's just gonna be um this basically yeah because you know how the switch has the super super nintendo uh classic things and the regular nintendo classics that like yeah. has its own each one has its own app i'm wondering if each one of these are going to be its own games or if there's going to mm-hmm. be like a little app for example it would be like oh you know 64 games or gamecube games and then you click on that and those are the games that are out for that yeah, I, I think in a perfect world, all of this comes out in one collection for <clears throat> what? I don't know, sixty bucks maybe. It's it's Nintendo, so I'm going high end. I assume. Yeah, this I is mean, all sh- yeah, I mean, they haven't. They said just several titles. They haven't included or haven't said how many. So I mean, it could be seven, could be more. I mean, it depends on how many there are there. What would be awesome is if we get a Super Mario All Stars like two or three D or something. Mm-hmm. Um, because if, if for those of you who don't know, Super Mario All Stars was an amazing um, Nintendo cartridge that had. Uh, let's see if I can remember all these. Super Mario one, two, three. Uh, uh, did it have Super Mario World? I think it had Super Mario Lost Levels. And I feel like I'm missing something else. Was that the one that's on the 3DS or the DS? Oh no, it's Super Mario World. It's on Wii. Oh, okay, okay. I'm thinking yeah, of the it's other on one. Wii. There's it one was called game... uh, Mario All Stars, I believe. Gotcha. Oh no, I'm thinking of the remix one because that one I did not like. Which remix? The the Mario remix thing. The ultimate. The uh, there was or not remix. Oh, God, what, there was a Mario game on the on the 3DS or DS. I can't remember what it was, but it has like a bunch of the old games. I think it's Ultimate something remix. I can't remember what it is, but there was a bunch of games on there. And you can play them, but you couldn't save. It's like not the full game. It's only like little levels of each game, and I didn't like that at all. Oh, I just can't. I Ultimate can't remember. NES Remix is what that is. Was that, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, it might have been actually. It was just NES Remix. I remember. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was like I didn't. Segments of the yeah, games. I did not like and you that had at all. To, yeah, you had to play. It was basically like challenge mode, but they didn't include the full game, which mm-hmm. I get it. But that's yeah, so, it's so weird. But it's only like <laughs> one level because I'm like, it's, okay, because Super Mario Advance Two was on there, and I'm like, oh cool, there's. Uh, I thought that, I thought it was the game. I went to play it. It's just one level. I'm like, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, you right. do the level, then you'll technically unlock another level, but it's not. That's not how it works. It's not like you get the yep. game. It's just different challenge levels. It's not what you want. It's like uh, it's like when you're like, oh, I want a cake, and they're like, all right, you get this sliver. And you're like, okay, can I have another piece? I mean, no. no. If you finish that piece, we'll give you a slightly bigger piece. And like, what? Well, well, no, I want, I want all. And they, well, no, you're not gonna get it. They're like, oh, that's sad. Right. And then you're bummed out. You didn't get cake. <laughs> Alex, do you want cake? Uh, <laughs> I want cake. I want cake. Yeah, I want cake. <laughs> I want cake. <laughs> I can go oh for my cake. God. Right? I'm excited about uh, Mario Galaxy. Um, yeah, I played that. Yeah, I played that on the Wii and, and loved my time with it. I never finished it. Uh, hopefully, they include I, Galaxy yeah. Two um, because I want to play that as well. And and they did get a Suko, so Hopefully, it includes that. And I'm also excited for um, this deluxe version for Super Mario 3D World, which yeah, 3D World oh is one of my favorite 
Um, yeah. Sorry, it is probably my favorite 3D Mario period, and it could be my favorite just Mario game ever. It's so good. I love it. Mm, damn, that's some that's some that's some high saying there. I'm sure someone out there is like, "How dare you?" Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves Mario World. Um, yeah, and I'm like, it's good, but and maybe I need to replay them. They need to re-release these things, man. Yeah, like, see, one of my favorites is Super Mario Advance. Uh, or no, is it Super Mario Advance Two? Or Super Mario Adventure? Uh, Adventure sounds, two? It's, I forget what what, what it the name should be. Advance. Is it Advance? Yeah, let me see. I think so. Super Mario Advance. Okay, it's Super Mario World Super Mario Advance Two. That's what the name is called. Hmm. Hey, how could you have got such such a easy title, man? <laughs> Mistaken. Because mm-hmm. the game is Super Mario World colon Super Mario Advance Two. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, but that was one of my favorite ones. Uh huh. I remember when I used to buy Game Boy games, and when these came out, I, I didn't know what GameStop was. So I went to Kmart, and they had a whole game section, <laughs> and I bought games at Kmart. <laughs> Kmart known for their excellent taste in video games. Hey, back then, man, there was a just you go to the game video game section, and there was like a whole big uh, you know in Walmart how they have like these like sliding case casings or whatever and they yeah. have games inside. It, it was like that, but like it was like tall as hell well because i was little i mean i just, it looked bigger than i was um but that's, that's where like i first powers from lord of the rings <laughs> <laughs> but dude i looked up there and there's so many games that's where i first bought um uh, i bought pokemon emerald when it first released and everything so that was fun oh pokemon emerald i love pokemon. and I, that's the one I of the, the yeah that, that was the first pokemon game i beat all the way through emerald yeah that's good that's a good one i think mine was fire red because mm. I loved, uh, I think I played that on my Game Boy. Yeah. Advanced. No, my Game Boy. It would have been my Game Boy. So it wouldn't have been Fire Red. It would have just been blue or red. Gotcha. Or green. I don't remember anymore. One of the colors. I played one of them and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that's all with that story, Alex. Anything you're leaving with? I mean, of course, Mario looks awesome. Uh, I, I just can't wait. I hope we hear more news about it or confirms yeah. it. Uh, obviously, this is technically unconfirmed, but this is basically confirmed. Uh, they're getting multiple sources from everywhere. People are talking to people. It's it's real. We're just waiting. Um, I think it's... Uh, didn't you tell me the 35th is June, correct? Yes, so it's, we'll it, it, was, June. it was supposed to take place around E3 or at E3, so uh, hopefully it's still there. Okay, so maybe we'll get a whole huge thing where it's like, and maybe it's a out or something. now, you know, one of those things. Yeah, I'm still wondering what the, everything is going to happen with this whole June situation. Yeah, yeah, we're not getting E3, but we'll get directs. We'll get, you yeah. know, we'll get uh, we'll get everything direct to our eyeballs. It just won't yeah. be as hype, but we'll still get it. For sure. Alex, on to some upsetting news. Oh, no. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 got a surprise <laughs> release date today, which was very cool, right? We love uh, Oh, so I was uh, so Modern excited. Where we love that. We saw it was leaked. It was leaked mm-hmm. yesterday. It's been leaked thousands of times by now. Yep. Uh, we we learned about this I think 2 years ago uh, when they were originally were making this and I just think they didn't know what to do with it. They were like, "Just keep it in there for a while probably." But mm-hmm. um, it was leaked leaked like for real yesterday and the day mm-hmm. before. And uh, it was for a date of today. And we're like, cool, it's going to come out Tuesday and we'll be able to play the campaign. Dope. We get up today. Uh, Alex is looking for the game on Xbox. We're like, all right, can't find it yet. So it's just not live, probably. Yep. And, and give it about like 12, 1 o'clock. Nothing yet. Yeah. Then Alex notices, hey, it's on PlayStation. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Um, Whatever. Uh, we'll just wait. And maybe it's just taking a while on Xbox. And then I find one Mr. Ryan McCaffrey retweet an article saying, this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is exclusive for a month on PlayStation. Mm. Now, why? Just I why? Get, I, I get having the exclusive mode for a year for the new Call of Duty game. I get all that stuff. That makes sense. You want a new mode, right? This is a like this game is like 10 years old <laughs> right i mean what is the point of making this thing exclusive for a month on on your plat? i i don't get it it's 20 bucks if you want to pick it up on playstation um again it is a month though if you want it on xbox or pc so you do have to wait a month um it is in a very cool pack though if you buy it for 20 bucks and you still play call of duty modern warfare the one that's out right now that's new you can still get um you get a pack with mm. ghost from Modern Warfare 2, 
um, his gun, a handgun, some voice lines and things like that. You know, just cool the stuff. Charm and stuff like that. Yeah, zone. yeah, charm. I think there's a charm. So you you get stuff for the other thing is cool. It's a really good price for twenty bucks. Like only twenty dollars. That's pre- that's a real good price for all of the Modern Warfare Two full campaign. Again, campaign, not mm-hmm. multiplayer, just the campaign. Um, I've seen a lot of people upset about that. I, like they don't want you playing Modern Warfare Two uh, multiplayer. They want you playing Modern Warfare multiplayer. This reminds me of when they re-released Mono Modern Warfare, the original, with the tie-in with the Infinite Warfare. I think it was. Is that right? Uh, Infinite yes, Warfare? yes, yes. Infinite yeah, Warfare. Infinite. Yep. And they <laughs> remastered the multiplayer, and I'm sure they saw like, oh wait, no, people are playing the other multiplayer. We can't have that. <laughs> like we 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 shouldn't have done that. So most likely they learned their lesson and said, we're not gonna put it in this one. You're gonna play the <laughs> one we want you to play. Why don't you play Warzone and spend money? We don't want you in the old one. No, yeah, yeah everything's just, already out. I just want the game. I was so excited this morning to just play that. I, I want. I was looking at it. Uh, the trophies went live yesterday, and I was like, "Ooh!" Yeah, and, and I was um, going through them and everything. Yeah, I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna start veteran, and I'll probably yep. beat it yep. tomorrow." You know, and I'll be able to talk about it. I'm sure it's nothing crazy of a remaster. It's probably just remastered. It's in 4K HDR, so it looks pretty. Mm-hmm. It won't be anything crazy, but nope. Get away, month. Maybe I'll cave and buy it on PlayStation, but mm-hmm. I hate it. We gotta wait. <laughs> oh yeah. I hate it. So you know what you know what we don't have to wait for? What don't we have to wait for? Else? Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, that's gonna it's gonna be on April tenth. So that's only uh about ten days away. That's true. That's true. Because they I just looked on thing on online and it says that they're they're sending out physical copies. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna try and hit their date on time. Yep. Um. So they're everything. I it they it's a little gray in my opinion on when it's coming out. Um. Because they said they want to send out early copies. Um. To well, make there's... sure people get the game. Mm-hmm. Uh. Early physical copies. So now we're just kind of waiting on what that means. Like, uh. Because yeah, it says releasing early in Europe and Australia physically because they're doing early. Mm. shipments of it so maybe if you're living in those areas hey you might so, get it sooner than than most I, regions um, on twitter on their final fantasy thing there's a thing that uh, there's a message that came out uh that i have here yeah you're um, talking about the full quote with the picture right what do you mean no, no no there's a thing uh it's the important message from the development team it was from uh this is from a few days ago correct no it's from yesterday or yesterday, yeah, yeah, it should be yesterday. Yeah. Uh, can it, you read the quote, please? Yeah, sure. Okay, it says, uh, The Final Fantasy VII Remake team have worked extremely hard to make this game, and we are incredibly pr- proud of what you are about to play. Our biggest motivator during the development was that so many of you were willing were willing us on and and... Sorry, this messed me up. And we felt your enthusiasm and passion every step of the way. We had some hard decisions to make during the final weeks before launch due to disruption to distribution channels caused by the spread of the COVID-19 virus. These unique uh, circumstances have made it very difficult to align timing of our global shipping. Our highest priority is that all of you, including those who live in countries currently facing the biggest disruption, can play the games at launch. So we made the decision to ship the games earlier than usual to Europe and Australia. As a result, there is a greater chance that some of you in the regions will now get a copy of the game prior to the worldwide release of April 10th. For other Western regions, including the Americas, copies will be shipped this week and will feel optimistic that most of you will receive the game for launch day. However, due to challenging situation, we cannot provide delivery dates for each country and each retailer. Uh, we really want you looking forward to Final Fantasy VII Remake to play the game on April 10th and experience everything we have been working on together to everyone we would like to ask one big favor if you get the game early please think of others and don't spoil it for for them (laughs) (laughs) i couldn't hold it together either (laughs) we we, i mean the game's only been out for like how so many years it's 1997 Uh, is what the game came out yeah we know that there are potential spoilers that have been out for uh over two decades as the original final fantasy 7 was released was released in 1997 yeah, it was released in 1997, but Final Fantasy VII Remake is a new game that is still has many surprises for everyone. All, all, all our fans and players deserve the, to experience the game for themselves, as we ask for support and dedication community around the world to ensure that. On behalf of the entire development team 
and everyone around the world that has worked on getting this game to you all. Thanks again for the support. And most important, please stay safe. So, cool. most likely, we'll get the game in 10 days. Yeah, so it'll hit the date, correct? Yeah. Um, they'll hit it on time, which is good. Do uh, some people might get it soon. I'm assuming when it says get it early, I'm assuming they mean uh, people who bought it directly through their store. Yeah. Uh, because there's no way to get it early if you bought it from, instance, a retailer, unless yeah. they lift the ba- the street date. Um, for instance, if you go to a GameStop and they have the games, if the, if the, the release um, date's not open, and they're not going to sell you the game. So, if you isn't is the digital pre-order available yet? Because like so, like will the so will the digital release for the game will you receive that on April tenth, or can you play it earlier, like early, like the other people can? Um. So April tenth was the original date. I'm assuming they're sticking to April tenth for all the okay. digital games, unless they say otherwise. Uh, I'm assuming it is staying for April tenth. Uh. In, until they find some reason to not do that, which I assume they want to wait just for bug reasons and patches and things like that. Um, if they get it early, hopefully they tell everyone, be like, hey, well, let's just ship this out now. Um, mm. Let's get this out as early as possible. I'm curious on what to do. That reminds me, I do need to pre-order this game because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm, ex- I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited uh, too. I was going to play the demo. I started it and I... Play, played it maybe for like 10 minutes but then i was like you know what i don't want to spoil anything because i've never played this game before and i don't and like usually when i play if i play a demo that i feel like it's like a, like the pretty much the beginning of the game i don't want to have to do that again so i'll just wait it, uh we were actually talking about this uh yesterday um i don't know if you want to take over with this one alice but you said you were doomed out uh, did you want to tell people about that yes um i do me turn is awesome but because i've I pretty much just played the first one, just like like the whole, like uh, binge played it. Uh, once I got into this one, I was like, okay, I think I'm in. I started playing it, got to about the fifth mission, and I was like, you know, I just I want to take a break from this because I'm not just I'm not as hyped for it anymore. So I, I think I wanted something different. So I think I'm doomed out for right now. So I think that's why I went to, for example, if I went to Call of Duty or Animal Crossing. I just wanted a, a, a new, like a palate cleanser, just say if I like, all right, now then I'm good and I can go back because I do want to finish it. But I think I am a little doomed out because I played the first one so uh, early or like so close together with this one. Makes sense, right? It's one of the downsides of going back to play something and being like, all right, I'm going to play this before the release. And then you play yeah. it and you're like, that was awesome. And then you go to play the next thing you're like, Oof, I just played like 15 hours of this game before, eight hours of this game already, and then you're on top of the no, new game, and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. well, okay, this is this is a lot. And it's crazy, because it's not for all games that that, that that happens to. It's just certain games, I guess. No, yeah, of course, right? It, it Yeah, it, it is certain games. Like, for... Mm, what's it? Uh, I mean, like, Kingdom Hearts, I never... Kingdom I mean, Hearts, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. We played one and two, and then we played three, and I was fine. That's... Yeah, we do that like nothing we can polish that off and and be perfectly fine about it so yeah it just p- depends on the game because you can get sick of just about anything but with that specifically yeah it's like uh, mm. uh i'm gonna need a break from this doing yeah. nothing but destroying demons with your bare hands for like yeah. the last few hours yeah see like for example like if i was uh let's say the uh a new modern warfare came out and i'd have to or let's say a new black ops if let's you know if those if you were in if you wanted to play replay all the old ones like black ops one two three or the ones that have stories i feel like you would get tired of those as well you're like all right i need to take a break from the shooting yeah yeah you yeah you want to you want to go to animal crossing and plant a flower yeah man <laughs> you gotta plant hey a man i'll be catching them tarantulas make money i can you imagine not playing animal crossing and hear us talk about all this by the way oh yeah <laughs> They're probably like what? tarantulas and selling them for lots of money. Like, wait, spiders? You're picking up spiders and doing what with them? Yeah, well, right. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, if I had, we sell it to small raccoon children. <laughs> look, I had to wait, make what? I had to make the wall of spiders because the the store was closed. I had to make the wall of spider on my backyard. <laughs> this is even more confusing. I love it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, don't don't worry. I couldn't sell it when I got back, so I just laid them on the ground and waited. <laughs> and I just laid it on the ground. When you put it on the ground, a, ma- a cage magically appears, pops up, and they're inside. 
and they wait. Yep, and then they just wait. And it's funny because when you walk towards them, they'll get they'll they'll tense up, and you'll see that they're looking at you, and then they're and then they're fine. Yeah, they they they're like uh, uh, and then they'll sit down. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that is the news. I don't believe there's anything else. There's, n- I mean, I haven't seen anything. And with this whole coronavirus thing, right? This is this is what's. Oh yeah, people are pretty, right. pretty much people are like just stay home and play video games. There was actually a thing that I looked on. It was a uh, I forgot I can't tell if it was testing or like these doctors or medical people were saying, but they're like I st- if you're like stay when you're staying home, go play video games. Mm-hmm. I, I guess because maybe it helps it helps with the brain and stuff like that because yeah, hand you're actually, eye coordination. You are doing something right. I mean, you're at least moving your hands or things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, let's um. Because uh, I wanted to talk about this, and I was curious if you even care about this. Uh, Resident Evil Three has come out. Yes, it has come out. Um, it came out. It come. Yes. When you say it like that, I feel like it hasn't. Um, well, no, 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 I just I probably wasn't paying attention. Because um, I know the April. Th- it says April third. Sorry. Okay. 3rd. Thank you. Thank you. For no, the time. demo yeah. is out. I feel like I just saw like me being able to buy by it yesterday, but mm, it was probably just a pre-order mm. and I misread it. So yeah. it comes out in three days, but reviews are already out. So let's gotcha. read some quotes. This is a uh, Rebecca. Uh, this is sorry. This is Jill Valentine. That's ho- that's hilarious that this person is. Wait, hold on. No way. Let me get the full quote for this person. <laughs> I was like Jill Valentine, Lucy O'Brien. There we go. I was like, wait. That's the person in the game. There's no way. <laughs> For some reason, they had the quote, mm-hmm. and then they had, they had the, the person that's the main character of the game. Mm, I don't, I don't gotcha. know why they had it that way, but this is Lucy O'Brien's gotcha. um, uh, quote from IGN. Uh, scroll all the way down to get like a full quote. Here we go. Like Resident Evil 2 before it, Resident Evil 3's 2020 remake does an amazing job of recapturing the horror intention of the late 90s original while completely modernizing its gameplay. It plays like a 2020 game because it's a 2020 game. The classic mm-hmm. world is brought to its life in glorious detail and smart level design makes exploring it a delight and replaying it almost compulsory. If only all remakes could be this good. Bring on the next one. Got a nine. Amazing. With the sub- uh, sublimely detailed ward and the breakneck survival horror gameplay, Resident Evil 3 is just as good as its 2019 predecessor. More, please. And that's so uh, on their editor's choice. So it got nine. That's a that's a great score for them. Um, game looks cool-ish, right? Yeah. Um, I like the. Oh wait, I don't care about that one. Uh, oh god. But yeah, they got a good good review from them. Uh, I'm trying to find more, but everyone's like scattered for some reason. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to GameSpot instead. Okay. But yeah, what does this intrigue you? Right, you didn't play um, two. I didn't all. play Did two, so I'm not. Mm, I'm, I, I give it a try, and I was thinking about just giving it a try with the demo. But I mean, I feel like I'm just gonna be the same exact thing with the second one, or with, as I did with the second one. Yeah, th- this is probably more a me one because I loved mm, yep. two, got super into it, um, and I just couldn't. I got. I I've been curious about this one because. With Resident Evil 2, as soon as I saw mm-hmm. the first trailer, I was in. I was like, oh, this looks awesome. But every trailer yeah. I've seen from this, I haven't really cared. Mm-hmm. Um, I've looked at it and been like, this looks strange. And I, and I, if I'm being completely honest, I couldn't figure out why. I, I couldn't I couldn't figure out why. Like, what was about it? And I was like, I don't like this. And I, I had no idea what it was. Um, uh, and I think it's just because the maybe it's the main character or something but something yeah. felt a little off for me um but this hopefully is a little better than than uh my initial thoughts it's got mm. so far let's look at the metacritic for the resident Evil 3 because that will give us a full perspective on everything it's got an 80 so far mm. that's not too bad that's an average of every metacritic by the way is an average of everywhere so they basically okay. get a bunch this is out of 58 critic reviews it has an 80 so that's, that's not good. too bad no, no, um, yeah. If you like Resident Evil, you'll you'll probably you'll probably like it. Yeah, you'll probably like this. I'm on the fence. I don't know if I'll get it uh, immediately. I might wait for a sale. You know, get a good sale. Yeah, yeah for it. sure. Um, I did hear because uh, I was watching the kind of funny review. Mm. Um, the I think someone summed it up. Hopefully, I don't feel this way, but <laughs> it summed up my feelings on the trailers where uh, the uh, uh, his name is Blessing Adioye Junior over on Twitter. 
uh, he says, um, uh, this game embodiments, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. <laughs> with, <laughs> with, with it. But there's little parts where you're like, no, no. And there were little things about it they didn't like. And you can read the full review um, on YouTube. Sorry, not read. Mm. You can watch the full review on YouTube if you want to hear it. But there are a lot more glowing reviews so far than I'm looking for. Um, here's here's one negative one. Just is VG 24-7. Um, it's still worth playing, but Resident Evil 3 Remake is a step backwards for Capcom. Coming off the back of one of the best games of last year, it's gorgeous to look at. The jump scares will get you. And it's like stepping into a comfy pair of slippers. But even though your feet are cozy, it never feels like home. Interesting. That's that's something that's like, eh, it's, mm. but there mm. are some glowing ones like. Uh, I guess we just have to try the demo because I never actually tried it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Alex, if you if you look at Resident Evil Three and you're like, oh, I want to try that, go go play Resident Evil Two. <laughs> go play. Good that. point. That good was point. that was really good. I loved that one. Yeah. Um. um did you see the games of gold and the PlayStation Plus games for next month? I did not. What were they? I saw games so, of gold. I just off of a brief one, but I don't yeah. remember them. So games of gold for April is Project Cars Two, uh, Knights of Pen and Paper. Uh, apparently you get so. Let's see. So yeah, Project Cars Two will be available between uh April first to the thirtieth. And Knights of Pen and Paper is available April 16th to May 15th. And that includes the first and second Knights of Pen and Paper games. So if you know anything about those, you can get those. And then for the 360 games, the only this one. Fable Anniversary. Yep, Fable Anniversary. Is, that one's available the first half of the month. And then Toy Box Turbos is available at the end of half of the month. All right. To be yeah. honest, all that sounds not great. But hey, no, maybe, yeah, exactly. maybe I need to try it. Um, and then for PlayStation Plus, or it, you get one great game, and the other one is I don't know how good it is. Uh, yeah. You get Uncharted Four. Whoa! All yeah, right. you get Uncharted Four, and then you get Dirt Rally Two Point Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, you definitely go grab Uncharted Four. That reminds me of last week where uh, oh, what was it? It was um, oh, what well, it was uh, Sonic Forces and like like oh, last God. of us or something like that <laughs> like yeah incredible it's... game and it's yeah. sonic forces <laughs> but yeah that seems like their thing it looks like they're trying to get all of their playstation exclusives out this year mm. um maybe in preparation for ps5 possibly question, question mark like to i, I don't know but it, it, we're seeing a trend of all of their big games being on playstation plus like what's is next month going to be like god of war or something like like they keep saying uh, oh, it was uh things. it was shadow of the colossus by the way shadow of the colossus thank you thank you i think the last of us was the previous um, yes but but yeah th- that that's they keep adding them so i'm curious if they're just trying to get a full month of that playstation exclusive being a big one big deal next month still big deal and then when we hit ps5 they get to be like oh all these are playable on ps5 or whatever um what do you think about these the news that we keep hearing about PlayStation Five backwards compatibility, um, and I, basically the confusion around it? And I don't know if you're confused. Maybe you have a different view of, of point. But what do you think of all of the, they've they've talked about this like three separate times with three varying uh, solutions to this? So what do you think? I have a feeling everybody's getting overhyped about it. I feel like it's not going to be as great as what they think. I think it's going to be better than what PlayStation Now was. Okay. But it's not going to be as good as uh, the Xbox backwards compatibility is. I, I don't think so either, which is strange, because I do, I do not know why. Um, and maybe it's, maybe it's hard for them. I don't know. But Xbox figured it out with 360. Mm-hmm. And PlayStation and, hasn't yep. figured it out at all uh, for any reason yeah. for them. So I'm curious on if they'll fix it, if they'll make it better. Um, I must. Assu- I I believe them when there will be some sort of backwards compatibility to PlayStation. Mm-hmm. But every time they've worded it, there is a pretense to it where there's like, uh, we are expecting or we uh, think or it's, that, we it's are, like it's not guaranteed because they're yeah, trying. They but keep they keep using like, these yeah. softball like answers, and it's like either it is or it's not. And if some work, just say that. It looks like they don't know every single game is going to work they yeah. probably know 
a handful of the games that are mostly played will work. For instance, Rainbow Six Siege, For Honor, these online games probably are fine. Mm. Uh, uh, what? Sonic Forces maybe won't work. You know, <laughs> like just random games like that. I, maybe that won't work. Or yeah. maybe Twin Breakers that I just bought last week. Maybe that won't work. It looks like every game almost needs to be tested to see if it works. And on Xbox, it's just not the case. You just get to play it, which is strange that it's still an issue. And it's mm-hmm. been an issue for like four years. Like they've had, what, 10 since, years almost? Since, yeah, since PlayStation's come out stuff. because they could have done PS3 games, but they didn't. <laughs> Yeah, and they made that weird choice of having a PS3 SKU that could pay PS2 games, but nothing else. Yep. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. And they never yep. made that a thing again. It's yep. just so strange. <laughs> I, I have no idea why. I'm curious on on if it's a cost issue or if they just have engineers that just do not know what to do. I, th- I think it's a cost issue because I'm sure they have engineers who know what to do. I just says they probably just a cost most likely, yeah. I th- you're probably correct in that. I mean, if I anything, I, they're still trying to. They're, they were still waiting on Xbox for their prices because there's. It takes. It's so expensive to. It's four twenty for the system to make. Yeah, yeah, and if they're gonna sell it at four hundred, that's terrifying. Yeah, there's no way they're imagine gonna do it at five. Ha- imagine having like thousands of money in stock in a company, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna sell our thing. We're not gonna make money on it." And you're like, "What?" <laughs> yep. So I'm assuming they're trying to make some money off this thing. Yeah, it's like Xbox. I'm sure that thing's five hundred bucks. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, what? Um, uh, oh, and um, just as a PSA, we had the Xbox One X shown off, uh, ex- expansively over this last. You week. mean uh, Series X? Series X. Sorry, Series X. Yes. Um, and we've we've shown off. There was a uh, article that popped up and some uh, scuttlebutt of there is no optical out on the series x which means anyone who has an astro a50 headset or any optical anything on your anything with uh, yeah anything with an optical port will not work now the fine people at astro gaming great people over there just sent out today that they are working with microsoft to get an update to their a50s or a20s to make it usb only which is great Mm -hmm. so so Sigh and relief out there if you have an A50, you spent 300 bucks like like I did. That you you don't have to worry that your $300 headset is going to waste just yet. So it looks like they're gonna hopefully switch the all to just USB on the Series X, and everything will be kosher. So does that mean I would have to? Oh, well, no, because there is already a USB on the thing, so I guess we, we just don't we won't have to use the optical port anymore. Yeah. I guess I'm going off the top of my head. I believe there's two in the back. Yeah. So you'll be using one for your A50s, and we can't have expandable memory anymore. It's going to be a memory card, so we're not using the other slot. So you have a free USB. Well, for a technically, you can. You just can't play Xbox Series X games on the exter- external hard drive, but you can still I'm have all your so Xbox One sorry, games. Sorry, Alex, I got that wrong. I You're mean, very nitpicky today, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just being the. F- I'm just stating the facts. We don't need. We don't need no negative comments. It, that, that's, down, that's down, true. Down someone, under. someone coming out the woodworks, being like, "All right, guys, you got this wrong." <laughs> well, which we if if we did get anything wrong, please let us know. Reach out. I'll make sure Alex knows that he got something wrong. Yep. Of course, I won't. Pick get anything it. Wrong. I will. I will eat my words. <laughs> He'll eat them with a fork and spoon. Yep. Yep, like just monster. like I just like I did that steak earlier, man. That thing was so good. <laughs> you did, that did look like a good steak. Strip. Did what is it? It looked like a New York strip. Was yes, it? yes, it was a New York strip, and I uh, cooked strip. a little. I, yeah, I cooked it a little differently. Yeah, no, they were cut really, really good, and um, mm-hmm. I cooked a little slower today, so like I turned the heat down a little bit and just kept checking on it, you know, make sure, and it was really good. That's. I think incredible. it's probably the best steak I've probably made. Oh, that's good. I uh, I made steak three nights ago, I think. Mm. Um, post it on Twitter if you want to see that, guys. That's f- oh, my God. Oh! Made this pan sauce. Out mm. of this world. Oh, my God. Out of this world. Alex? Mm. While we're settling down, let's have a word from our sponsors. Yes, that's right. We have sponsors, and it's me, you fucks. Uh, head over to patreon.com slash Achievers. Give us a buck. Helps us out a lot. Keeps the mics on, the lights on. And Alex's dog is fed. Don't worry. 
We're still feeding them actively, even though uh, uh, specifically we haven't gotten a dollar that says this is for the puppies. So if, <laughs> if they're not getting, if they're not getting, maybe, maybe they don't get fed next time, though. You know. I would it's love that day to come when I see a dollar and it has a comment that says this is for the puppies. This is for the puppies. I would. I, I'm. It's gonna happen. We have. Right? We have. We have great people listening to this. We're gonna get one. and It's gonna be like this is for the puppies. Make sure you get them the good shit. It's gonna be like two bucks. It'll be two dollars. Mm-hmm. Be like this is for the good stuff. The the uh, what, what's the what's a good dog food? Because like for whatever reason, my head goes to meow mix for like the the cats. What's like a pedigree? What's it? Yeah, there you go. Pedigree. That's the good stuff. I guess. I don't know if that's the great stuff, but that's what I buy them. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if it's great. I haven't tasted it myself. <laughs> no. Okay. Look, this is a whole different conversation because with what, you know, like wet dog food. Yeah. Um, I it, It's it's horrible. It's nasty. It's gross. Oh, it's but, the, but the smell, I like oh. the smell. You're disgusting, man. I, I, you've said this before to me, and I, I've never looked at you the same since. Dude, I, I don't I understand. The, when I open my cat food, because it's wet food, it's pate. Yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah. They, and they love that stuff. But Jesus, when I get a whiff, I want to immediately see. I don't I, see. I don't mind it at all. Oh, you're just. Yeah, see, I don't mind it at all. It's like with the dog one, I it actually smells good, but I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just, it's just, <laughs> Look, everything. Everybody thinks I'm weird for saying it, but it's true, man. Some it just for something about it, man. Maybe I was a canine in my past years or something. <laughs> Look, all right. If you're if you're with me on this, comment down below if it's disgusting or if you're with Alex and you have some sort of weird, disgusting relationship. Biz- bizarre with addictions. Dog's food <laughs> that you're smelling it and you're like, oh, I want some of that. Yeah, tell us what's I'm your bizarre addiction. I- I'm waiting for the day I walk in and I see you going to town to one of these tin cans with a fork. I'm just, I just have it open. <laughs> not eating it, but like, I'm not even do. I just have it open and I'm just sniffing it. I don't believe you. Are you just sniffing it? I don't know what's worse. I would just I sniff it. There's no way I would eat that shit. Uh, I don't believe you. <laughs> no, oh there's no way. God. Alex, before, <laughs> before we end today's show. I broke him. What are you going to play? More Animal Crossing. <laughs> and, I get those roads. Yeah, and probably go play some Apex because I was feeling it when we played it the oh, other day. Apex? Okay. I yeah. can see some Apex. I can probably jump on too. Or Warzone, either one. I'm trying to not to get tired of either of them, so I'm jumping back and forth. Mm, I like the shuffle we're doing right now. We're doing a little yeah, Warzone. Yeah, yeah. We're doing a little Apex. We're doing a little Warzone, a little Apex. We're, yeah. we're, I'm, I'm dropping 10 kills, feeling great. Mm-hmm. Me and you jump at hot drop. Each of us got four kills. Feels 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 great. Mm-hmm. What it's different. It's funny because Apex is so different from Warzone, and you would think they'd be similar, but with Call of Duty, no like, god. I feel like it's if you make one mistake in Warzone, man, it's over. And it's oh no, it, yeah. You have to be so disciplined, and sometimes I just don't think about things, and I just get wrecked. Yeah, like I'll forget that, uh, like you know, you have to put plates on. I'm thinking that automatically, if I pick plates up, it automatically puts the armor on. Yeah, like, kind of like it, but I just I forget. I I'm like, it. oh no. It, it, it reminds me in this you have to check corners all the time oh god yeah for all sure all the time literally Every, if you walk into a new place check corners you're walking yep. down the street check like an alley like it, if you make a mistake it's your life because you're the tpk in this which is uh sorry ttk in this which is time to kill is so low um it's so it's like lower than fortnite and apex so it it you you die so fast oh for sure but they, well, that, god, they, that's why there's so many people dude yeah, yeah, it's 150, and then you technically have two lives if you win in the gulag. In gulag, yeah. You know, you, you do get that extra thing. You can buy back at any time. So it is yeah. forgiving, but good lord, if yeah, you get for smacked, sure. it's over. Alex, I'm probably playing uh, a little game called Persona Five Royal. Actually, Ooh, I'm so you jumping get back. It. I already got it. Actually, it's downloaded oh, right man. now. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, well, wait for Alex, it. that thing. That a thing will finish downloading next week. <laughs> So actually, I'm I'm gonna share a hit with you guys. Uh, I I I learned this from one Colin Moriarty, the guy who actually made the game I played uh, last week. He Twin wrote Breakers? for it. Sorry, didn't make it. Didn't or he wrote Twin Breakers? Yeah. Um, he uh, he said the way to make it work correctly, essentially, is if you reset your internet settings. And for the mm-hmm. longest, I had no idea what that meant. Essentially, you just reconnect to your Wi-Fi. I know that sounds weird, yeah. but literally, just reconnect to your Wi-Fi. My mm-hmm. d- my speeds tripled, literally, on my. Oh yeah, for PS- sure. And you're wired in, right? No, not on my no? PlayStation. You're not my wired? Xbox. I am. 
Okay. If if I was closer to the uh, router, to the router? I, I would I would be. Okay. Um, but I only want yeah. one wire going through here because it's so long. Mm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm far from my connections. Oh. Oh. There's some Last of Us there. John. Yeah. Don't, yeah. John is calling. On. John <laughs> is calling. I'm, I'm gonna have a li- I'm gonna have a live person. There we go. Let's do it. John, you're live on the Easy Achievers mm-hmm. Gaming Podcast. What's up? Okay. What you need to? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, John? What's up? No, no. If you're busy, I'll give you a call back in a minute. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. I guess he didn't want to talk. He probably wants saying, to see if he wants to jump on. Probably. I was hoping yeah. that was. I was about to be like, hang, hang up with the phone, man. We got. We got seriously. <laughs> and, and then, and then you hang it up, and it's like, hey, man, what's going on? He's like, nothing. I was just messing with you. He just hangs up on you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. all right, that is all we have for you this week on this glorious self-quarantine podcast. Don't worry, I haven't touched a single person since it started, uh, so I'm doing my it's part. Kind of Make sure you it? do your part, too. Don't touch anyone. Try not to make out with strangers. I know it's hard. I get tempted every day. Um, yep. Make sure you donate to anything at this point, right? <laughs> Save somebody. Uh, thank the you ACPA, because I keep seeing commercials for those people, and it's destroying me. I don't know what that is. I, I forget what the um, ACP it's it's is. pretty much the it's like the humane shelter people. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, like the same right. thing. But so you remember those Sarah McLachlan vid- <laughs> videos? With, yeah, it's like yeah. it's it's like that. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's like killing me because it keeps popping up, and it's like it's for nineteen ninety nine a month or sixty three cents a day. You can help this with this dog, and it shows like the most adorable dog. And I'm like, oh my god, turn it off, Alex. I love you sometimes because you're just you're feeding me content. What we gonna do now? We're gonna make the <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make those videos, and it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna like for twenty five cents a week, you can be enjoying Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, it's and you can be it, feeding it, my dogs, and I'm gonna and be there trying be, to feed them. And, and we're gonna as I sniff panic. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're ca- that I, there's no way I can end it better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, sit, go to Patreon for that gloriousness. Uh, go achieve. Go achieve.